What's going on guys? It's Elias. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in today. As you can see from the title, today I'm going to share with you a few disappointing bits of information that I've unfortunately found out about our Civic Type R's. I've kind of seen it already from about a year ago. If you drive this car in a salty region, if you drive it like a daily driver through the winter where you get a lot of salt and sand and things like that, there are a couple of spots where, in my opinion, it rusts very very quickly now I'm gonna let you guys form your own opinions so I'm, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you all the spots that this car has with what I think again in my opinion are just really terrible rust spots and you know really not structural so, so nothing really crazy nothing significant that you should really worry about honestly but at some point these rust spots are going to entirely rust out and require replacement so something for you to keep in mind so without further ado let's go ahead and take a look now before we do be sure to hit that subscribe button like i've always said it's shocking 95 percent of you guys that watch the videos don't subscribe to the channel it would really help me out a lot if you did all right guys let's go take a look so to look at the damage let's go ahead and get under it so i can show you what the heck is going on let me get some illumination so you guys can better see what the heck I'm talking about. So just to orient you guys, this is the front of the car. This is the lip right here. It's got a little clips there. I'm going to take all this stuff off in a bit, but um, I've taken the bottom tray off. So let's start with the worst and then work our way out that way. Now, as you can see here, this is what we call the front pipe. Don't know why it's called that, but the front pipe, this one, connects up to the down pipe, which is right over here. Let's see if I can get some illumination that way. And as you'd expect, because of the extreme heat, there is a little bit of surface rust, which is really not a big deal. Now, the rust that does worry me is everything right here so i am going to have to take these bolts off i do have some upgrades i'm about to install but because i have bolts to take off here i already kind of started dousing them with penetrant fluid uh, hoping that when i start taking them off they don't break now i'm not going to reuse them they are already very in my opinion way too rusted as it is but in addition to this i mean look at the mounting bracket itself it's already starting to rust significantly I mean, this is only a, what, three-year-old car? It drove through two winters, and I got a car wash on this car fairly frequently. Uh, I sprayed under it, I did everything I could. Now, as you understand, there's a cover that goes right through here, so anything you try to do to clean this area off may or may not work as, as well as you'd like, so you're gonna get some rusting. Now, there's some bolts here, like for example, this bolt right here, that's going to be difficult. I've sprayed that down. But this is basically the worst of the rusting right here, especially at this flange. So moving on from the down pipe and the front pipe area, we're going to stay towards the front. And I want to show you the transmission cooler lines. They started to rust too. Now, it's not too bad. It's just a little bit of surface rusting there on those steel lines. But I don't know. If you use this car as a daily, let's say 10 years down the line, uh, this may cause a problem. Uh, I'm calling it now. Uh, this actually may cause a problem. I don't know for a fact if it will or not because I'm not a fortune teller. But if I have to think about that, uh, I honestly, I think it could. Now, just so you guys know, my comparison is my Prelude, my Honda Prelude from 1997. I daily drove that thing and basically never washed it or cleaned it almost ever. And it doesn't have the rust issues that this car has. So it's just something to keep in mind with some of those rusting issues. I'm looking at the radiator here. So if you look at that, there's some rusting right there. Uh, so basically everything that's made out of metal will rust. Now I'm not sure why they didn't galvanize these things a little bit better or they didn't use higher quality components that don't rust so easily. But that's one of those things right there that I did not expect to start rusting already. Now looking up here, take a look at that. It's a little bit of rust forming there, surface rust. And like I said, this is only a three-year-old car. It's got 13,000 miles on it, and it's sat for a long time, basically untouched and undisturbed for quite a while. So there's no real reason for it to be doing that. So uh, it's just surprised me to see that. Let's go ahead and move on back to the back, towards the back of the engine. 
So before I move back to the back of the engine, there's actually some surface rust on the actual frame. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here a little bit. So you guys can see that. There's that surface rust right there on the frame. That's the frame right there, the frame rail or the subframe if you want to call it that. Still pretty good, in pretty good condition as you'd expect from a relatively new car, but that frame rail is definitely a little bit rusted. So as you can see, I, like I said, I already started taking off these bolts and stuff, but look at this hardware right there. Look at that. It just holds up plastic to, this, to the frame rail. Not a big deal, but I don't like the fact that it's rusting so badly already. Now, looking out here a little bit more, so this is the rear motor mount. Uh, a little bit of surface rusting there. And this right here is just, it looks like corrosion, but really, honestly, it's not really corrosion. It's just dirty. I haven't really washed it much. But if you look at the, this is the original stock axle. The, this is the passenger side axle. And that whole thing is just uh, a big block of rust. Not really unexpected, to be honest. That uh, Those things usually rust almost immediately. But it's just something to keep in mind when you're looking at under your car. Uh, I found it interesting to look at, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. And finally, we get to the OEM original factory suspension. It's almost all aluminum, so no rusting there. But the, the actual little components right here, they're starting to rust a tiny bit. Not really a big deal either, but I thought I'd point it out. So looking here now, I'm looking, this is the alternator. It sits way back here. Uh, I believe that's the alternator actually. No, that's not the alternator, it's something else. Uh, but I wanted to show you that there's a bigger bit of rust right there. There's like a ring of rust. Uh, there's some rust on this bolt right there. Nothing crazy, nothing we can't manage, but on a three-year-old car, fully expected. If you daily drive this anywhere where it gets salty, it's just kind of a, ma a fact of life that this thing is going to start rusting. And you can try as much as you'd like. It's really not going to prevent it from doing that. The only thing that will prevent it from doing that is using higher quality galvanized parts or parts, you know, stainless steel, things like that. So looking at the top of the engine bay here, nothing much to talk about. Uh, there's a little bit of rust on the battery terminal, so keep an eye on that and a couple of rusting spots and some hardware again these little things here eventually all of this will be covered in rust from what i can see uh, as it, it's water and salt water especially gets sprayed into this place part it will start rusting out a little bit now the underbody protection more specifically let me go ahead and show you that underbody protection that all tension civics have provided a decent amount of protection against all that spray back but even with that, you're still going to have some of that salt water spray up here. And that's what you're kind of seeing with these little bolts here. Now, my car may be a worst case scenario. I live in the mountains of Pocono Mountains in Pennsylvania. So they use all kinds of crazy, nasty stuff to spray the roads and things like that. But again, I thought it would be interesting for you guys to see. I definitely found it very interesting. Now, in case you guys haven't seen, there's also some corrosion issues. If you open this up, there's four spark plugs in there. Uh, there's some moisture that can get into the spark plug tubes and they can rust some things out inside the engine. I made a video on that. Uh, I'll go ahead and post it down in the description. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I, I know uh, it's disappointing to see some of that rust, but at the end of the day, it is a Civic, so Civic Type R, Civic. I think it's a super special car, so when I saw that rust, I was a little disappointed. We're going to go ahead and fix most of that up, right? So we're going to replace some of those parts so we don't have any issues long term. And anyway, even long term, all the parts I showed you rusting out, they really should not have a problem. I mean, how often are you going to be changing the alternator or changing the, the front pipe and down pipe, right? It's not really going to be that often. Uh, and 10 years down the line, most of these cars are going to be uh, put away, taken care of, cleaned up, and not too badly uh, worn out. Unlike mine, where I used it as a daily driver, I raced it, crashed it, fixed it, now I'm going to race it again. So this is living a very hard life, just to keep that in mind. But anyway, thanks for watching guys, I do appreciate it. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button, it really helps me out. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.